Okay, <clears throat> so in the last class lesson we actually talked about geodesic deviation where we said that if you have two geodesics and you take two points along these geodesics this is P, this is pre prime, this is Q, this is Q prime and you parallel transport your tangent vector from P to Q I'm just exaggerating the whole thing so that we can look what really is going on and then um, let's use a different color so you go from P to Q and then Q to Q prime and you can actually do the same thing and go from P to P prime and then P prime to Q prime if the final vector is same using the same path I'm mean using the two different paths then there's no curvature but if this vector the one obtained by PQ Q prime Q Q Q prime and the other vector P P prime P prime Q prime they have a difference then there's a curvature so basically we are actually interested in the quantity D over D lambda d over d s minus d over d s d over d lambda x d x alpha d lambda uh, I'm just using d for the covariant derivative so that I don't have to write the whole thing that's a standard way of writing covariant derivative and as you can see I am actually parallel transporting the transporting the tangent vector this is the tangent dx alpha by d lambda where d lambda is something that is um, um, parameterizing this geodesic um, but as you can also see that actually well I made a mistake this should be d that d over d lambda and dx alpha over d lambda is zero because you see that's the equation of geodesic and pq satisfies geodesic so this should hold true because pq is geodesic so basically we re reduce to calculating d over d lambda d over ds dx alpha d lambda how does uh, yes, um, how does, well, what is ds, I'm sorry, ds is actually this, this particular change in parameter, parameterizations. So it's s that is parameterizing as you go from one geodesic, geodesic to the other geodesic. Lambda is the parameter that goes along the geodesic. Okay, how can we calculate this? Let's call this particular geodesic as x mu lambda and this one as x mu lambda plus delta x mu small change in delta x mu because the change in parameter ds okay so if this is true we can write the geodesic equation for both of these uh, geodesics the first one will be uh, d square x mu so let's call this geodesic a and let's call this B so for A dx square x mu over d lambda square plus mu alpha beta dx alpha over d lambda uh, dx beta over d lambda should be 0 for B we can write d square x mu delta x mu over d lambda square plus mu alpha beta x plus delta x d x alpha plus delta x alpha over d lambda multiplied by d x beta plus delta x beta over ds equals 0 okay 
uh, well as you can clearly see uh, this is nothing but how does the tangent vector changes along ds so that's why we are interested in this okay um, and this all of this is actually so we are actually interested in b minus a how do they differ well I'm not I will not do the whole mathematics but this is how it looks like d square over d lambda square delta x mu plus partial rho mu alpha beta dx alpha over d lambda dx beta over d lambda delta x rho equals r mu nu alpha beta dx nu d lambda dx alpha d lambda delta x beta this new tensor is Riemann actually I wrote the spelling incorrect in my last class it's written as R I E M M A N tensor Riemann tensor um, so Riemann tensor is nothing but sort of you can see the function of these Christopher symbols again depending it depends on the chosen coordinates system uh, which can be related to the geometry of the system itself, but let's not talk about more about this just for, for now This is called Riemann tensor. It's sort of a measure of um, the, um, the curvature uh, I just wanted to derive the geodesic deviation Equation where you can see that what we have just uh, derived is How does Delta X changes as lambda as D lambda changes? So as you go along the curve what happens is the separation between these two uh, geodesics. So this is what is the interesting term. Okay, um, we probably will talk about Riemann tensor in the following class, and then we will move on to curvature.